Hmm. Well, tonight I decided to uh, look at the batch of uh, brandy that I did with my grapes two years ago. Um, thought I'd drag them out and just revisit them and taste test them. Um, they've been sitting in my liquor library downstairs. And um, yeah, so so the one on the, so it's basically the same batch, um, harvested in February twenty twenty, fermented uh, February March, and then it went into the aging process where I split it and I had uh, uh, Jack Daniel's barrel chips in one half the batch. And then the other half, I had this uh, charred cherry wood, and um, and and what I like to do is I get a uh, charred cherry uh, chunks of wood, and I'll I'll char them, basically, um, and then I'll I'll let them soak in a jar full of uh, wine for about six months, and that sort of you know they get to sort of absorb a bit of wine and then I dry them out and then and then when I do uh, uh, the, you know one of my batches and I want to use it I you know put it in and it sort of you know imparts some of the wine flavors into the distillant as well <clears throat> it's kind of like something I've been experimenting with I'll show you there you go so yeah in this um, in my cupboard it's just full of sherry and there's chunks of oak in there you just can't see it anymore because it's gone all dark black but when I want to age a whiskey or something and I want a sherry flavor um, I take the the oak sticks out and let them dry um, and and then it sort of replicates like you know a barrel as best as you can I guess um, but anyway, back to these. So yeah, that's 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 what I do. Um, with the cherry, it was like the thing I noticed about cherry is it gives it a very um, orangey red color really quickly. It sort of imparts that color really quickly into the the stillant, and um, and I really like that. I actually really like that color. Um, and I've discovered that Pahutakawa uh, does a very similar thing. So I'm sort of leaning, leaning towards the Pahutakawa just because it also has a different flavor. And yeah, this one was uh, JD's Barrel Chips. So let's have a crack at it and uh, see how it's shaped up over the last two years. I won't show you my face. It's just a big smile from ear to ear. Oh my god. I actually made that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not a big brandy drinker. Um, the brandies I have tasted just to get a flavor profile in my head. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a, a brandy. I mean, but wow. <laughs> okay. All right. And this one. Oh, oh wow. Oh, <laughs> that one rocks. Oh my god, that, that is so good. Oh my god. Okay, well, you, you just have to take my word for it. I mean, uh, okay, wow. So that's given me a couple of ideas for which way I want to go with uh, this year's harvest. Um, yeah, that, oh my god, that's come out so good. Um, you'll just have to find out for yourself one day. I'm, I might have to have a, like, a, a taste testing party, uh, at some point. 
when uh, it, this is all when everything's back to normal. Um, yeah, fun times.